managed to activate his rook and now he just sort of made a waiting move. So that already indicates that he says this is about as active as I can get and now try and break through. Um, prove if you can do something with that extra pawn. Again, I think it's going to be difficult for Vichy. And one of the reasons is that Yes, his king is a little bit safer, but the moment you move the queen away to, let's say, d3, mm -hmm. you immediately get hit with a check. Or yeah. queen h5 is always something to be concerned about. Um, so how should he continue? Let's try this one. It's a bit of a cheapo, because I'm hoping to play this check. And make some okay maybe now i could for example play queen f5 and then try to could you really probably not i think this is a pretty bad suggestion but i was hoping to uh mm -hmm. actually this is probably not that dangerous because yeah. you you have a passed pawn as well too actually and uh, this is not moving but there are some ideas here mm -hmm. i'm sure for for vichy okay, okay rook d6 was played I'm slightly confused by this position, I have to say. Yeah. It seems like... How do you evaluate Vichy's uh, winning chances? Hard to say, but uh, I'm wondering if, if I play King G7, if mm -hmm. he actually has a uh, something dangerous in mind. That's what I'm most... Okay, so like you can give a check, but now I can even move here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see it mm -hmm. yet, so I'm not that optimistic about his chances but there might be there might be something i do think that maxime did the right thing putting the rook mm. on b4 it feels right in a way it's a bit uh, reminding of uh, of danish Kiwi game you know you just have a risk-free advantage and you can play it for as long as you want just yeah. sort of shuffling and yeah that's trying right. different things okay so shall we see mr kremnik yes we're gonna go um, it's the most bizarre game Okay, I, I have to show you this really quickly. Please. Yeah. Uh, so, this position. Oh my. Okay, first of all, I gotta g get a material spot count. Okay. Bishop takes f2. All right, c2 is hanging. So. I thought that he was in, in huge trouble here. And I'll also admit that in virtually every single line, I initially missed that knight e2 check, queen takes h4 leads to mate. Right. Uh, we're looking at like queen f2, but there's a, there's a clear cut mate. So he had to move mm -hmm. back to d1. And I thought that this must be a very good position for black. I mean, first impressions are really. Yeah, at least temporarily up a pawn and, mm -hmm. and doing fine. And then he just castled and gave the pawn back, and then he lost another pawn somewhere on the way. The, uh, wow. Yeah, very, very odd sequence. And there's that uh, other pawn, as you were mentioning. Yeah. I I feel like there there were some improvements on the way here. But yeah, he, so now he's basically ever since uh, okay, they changed here and since then he's been suffering down upon. Right. Um that that brings us to this position. Current position. Well, I really like the extra pawn and I also like the fact that well, I mean white has a clear idea of mm -hmm. king e2 to d3 and yeah, the pawn on d4 is um suffering it's going to be tenderized yeah uh, it looks, it's, it's uh, a very hard position to play actually okay i'm gonna go queen d6 am i gonna go queen d6 you're more or less inviting me um to do what i want to do which is fine uh, okay king f3 and queen d5 is mm. how i want to meet d3 yeah so here this is pretty much winning right away yeah this feels okay. good yeah Okay, so this one, I'll play. I don't really want to play f6 either, but I'm gonna play it. Giving up the absolute seven. Oh, oh, oh. So what is queen d5? Mm-hmm. And now it's wonderful if I can checkmate you with my king, right? But no, no queen d2. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, queen d2 uh, clears the cobwebs. All right. Uh, that's a lot of arrows. That's a lot of arrows. Uh, here don't I have some wonderful way of winning a pawn? So, Hakasito, check on d7. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
another check. And uh, check and queen e6, yeah? So first I defend the pawn on b3, but obviously I'm, I'm eager to play queen takes f6. Do you want to play queen c3 check and then d3? Yeah, I'm going to play check. I'm going to check first. And, and then, then go d3. Are you playing to mate me? Yes, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, it, exactly nor, right. It's, it's very rare, yes, sir, that you like voluntarily try to help me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, no, I tried to uh, cook, cook, cook uh, like a really, really bad move from me. But this is a check. Queen f6 with a... Isn't that a loss? Queen f7? Okay. I beat that's you a a bit. Yes. <laughs> that's an embarrassing one. Oh. Nicely done. You have you have sucker punched me and I I feel it. It's like a kidney <laughs> shot in boxing. Oh my. Yes. Okay. I had to do better than this. But no question that Vichy, uh, with his extra pawn is yeah, very he's very happy. I very, think. very happy. Yeah. By the way, queen d8, were we looking at queen d6? Yeah, no, I was looking at queen d6, yeah. M ah, maybe he didn't like e5. But what if I check now? Well, you were about to play f6 a moment ago. And yeah, but now it's a different queen story. d5, right? Yeah, now at least I had this one. Exactly, that was your, yes. So you have to, you have to move your king, but that mm -hmm. seems very awkward. Like, if you move king g8, I feel very inclined to, you know, this. Mm. No, this looks like Vichy is really this is reeling, just done, right? yeah, reeling the point in, right? Yeah. Well, hold on, there's queen d4, well, queen d, uh, queen, uh, queen e8 check and yeah. takes f7 and mate on g7. I was hoping that this is winning, yeah. Yes, this certainly feels very good indeed for Vichy. I mean, Vichy is a fine wine, huh? It just improves with age. It's, it's, just a, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, he's defying father time, and but he okay, continues can I? to make it look wonderful. Yeah, this is just in, am amazing the type of results he's still capable of. Yeah. No, this must be a lost ending. So I take it, King e two, yeah. and then King f, uh, King d three. Yeah, me. no, I'm running. I must uh, be running, running out. out of moves. No. If no, H5, no. Uh, F6. Let's... Ah, uh, yeah, F6 is a good one. Yeah. Because I'd like to play G4 takes G3, but mm. then you play F6 and I'm Zugzwang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, queen D5 has actually been played. Immediately. Mm -hmm. So Queen F6, I guess. Sorry, just a question. What about Queen takes D5 now? Is that so? Ah. Takes in d6. Yeah. Beauty. Yeah, that's nice. That's a sweet shot. Takes and d6. looks good, but loops. Nope. You can't move. Right. You can't take on f5, the d pawn. That's, so, that's pretty. So you got to go here. Okay. But now, yeah, you can also just play this one, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, let, let's try to make a few moves. Uh, I don't know, here. If I can take that last move back, Robin, mm -hmm. how good is g4? Because the point is, I want to play your move e5 and f6, right? True. This so is a very annoying threat. Y yeah, no, you get that pawn to f6, you got checkmating uh, nets. This, this just looks lost, Yasser. Agreed. I actually thought initially that this wasn't such a significant pawn when there were still rooks on the board. Mm -hmm. I'm talking a little bit about like... Earlier, yes. Yeah, of maybe this stage of the game. I thought that this was... The double cheap pawns were just more, yeah, more like, like more protecting the king or right. something. More yeah. drawish than, than, let's say, winning for white. Right. Yeah, also if you think about, for example, what we have now compared to the... Uh, taking on c3 here, that's a yeah, huge well, the, difference. Yeah, the, there's an e5 pawn on the board, yeah. obviously. That makes all the difference in the world, in fact. Very good drawing chances in this case, yeah. not in this case. Not in the game position. Game position just looks gone. Yeah, g4. And the problem is after check, you really just don't have a follow-up here. I mean, yeah, you're losing d4 with check, and then you'll end up protecting the king somehow, you know. What happens if I start? Yeah, no, it's. I can give you some checks, or, or actually, I'm getting checked right away. Sorry. Right. I can't even do that. No. No. So a G4, I think, is just done. To be yes. honest. Yes. Yeah, that doesn't. Look, it looks very bad. 
Okay, so Vichy, probably off to a very good start. This mm -hmm. looks very likely to be a win. Um, let's switch back to Vladimir. Peace up. Yeah, why does it peace up? Yeah, it's right. from the start, from the start. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Vichy did win. I think he played G4. Let's quickly double check that. Right. Uh, but no surprise after looking at that queen ending a little bit more mm. uh, over here. Yeah. He's played G4, I then he's expected. Even more careful, King F3 is right. very nice. After the move, King G8, King F3. Yeah. Odd game, odd game, but uh, Vichy, I don't and know, went from, smooth. went from like Vichy takes F2 craziness to just winning back a bunch of pawns and converting quite uh, easily in a way. Wow. My inspiration, by the way. I see Vichy having these types of results. You yeah. know? <laughs> let me get back in. Yeah. Let, me, let me get in there, coach. Let me throw some patties. <laughs> nice. Uh, Big applause for Vichy. Yeah, very good. Very good start for him. Uh, Jordan van Verheef did actually beat uh, Lucas, which was uh, the sort of derby, I would say. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he had a very good position. Too many pawns up at some point. Right. Um, uh, Fishy, your opponent of today was not your most feared of the tournament, but a great start anyway, probably. Um, well, there's no one uh, really in this tournament. Uh, well, they're all very strong. What can you do? And uh, Maxim is uh, a very good player. Um, in fact, he did he did quite well out of the opening, and um, I felt that um, instead of knight takes f5. I think he j maybe he just relaxed, but he he calculated knight f5, knight f5, e f5, bishop d5, d4, queen h5, check, king g1, bishop g2, which I also saw. But then queen e2, and I think I just get a free ride. Uh, I mean, I can press this position uh, without any risk. He found himself having to play queen f6, and then I win this pawn. And for a long time, initially I was very optimistic, but I couldn't see any way to break through. Uh, somehow seems to be always a defense. Then the only thing I could do was this move, which I thought was clever, King G1, because what I'm trying to do is to, uh, well, it allows me to offer the exchange of queens on D5, precisely what happened in the game, because the king is now close enough to the pawn. And he just blundered with Queen D8. Um, so his second blunder, I mean, first of all, I should not have gotten any winning chances, and second, uh, after Queen D8, Queen D5, it's over. But he, if he plays H5, it's still uh, a big technical task ahead. Okay. Um, okay, then about the tournament, it's been a little bit hyped. You scored five victories, Magnus scored five victories. How important is it to you 